The anime begins by showing a male high school student named Haruhiko Ichijo who is on his way to school. Ichijo is a high school student who has a special talent. He can summon and seal phantoms. At school, he joins a team along with an upperclassman named Mai Kawakami. Mai has a special ability to defeat phantoms, namely with fast fighting power and extraordinary physical strength. Mai and Ichijo are part of a team of phantom hunters assigned by the school with permission from the government. Phantoms themselves are supernatural, magical creatures that are mostly in the form of animals or humans and have extraordinary magical powers. Phantoms were initially considered by the public as mere superstition. However, due to the catastrophic explosion of a laboratory that spread a mysterious virus several years ago, humans are now starting to be able to see phantoms with their eyes. Along with this phenomenon, several human children have appeared who have special abilities to defeat phantoms recently. However, the gifted human must not arbitrarily kill the phantom because there are good phantoms that do not harm humans in the human world. One of the good phantoms is Ruru, a phantom in the form of a small human who always follows Ichijo everywhere. That morning, Ichijo, who had just arrived at school, was surprised by Mai fighting a giant phantom rampaging in the schoolyard. He then drew a sketch of the phantom to immediately seal the phantom. However, Ichijo had a hard time finishing the sketch of the phantom because the phantom's movements were quite fast. Realizing this condition, Mai then took the initiative to lure the phantom to a giant clock on the edge of the school field to trap the phantom. Thus, Ichijo could finish the sketch in his book and immediately seal the phantom with his sketchbook. After the phantom was sealed into Ichijo's book, Mai immediately took out her elemental power to destroy the phantom. After defeating the phantom, Ichijo and Mai came to a meeting of the phantom hunter team held by a female teacher named Arisa Himino. Arisa Sensei is a teacher assigned to guide high school students at the school who have special powers or special talents. She is the coordinator who gives rewards from the government in the form of money to the entire phantom hunter team. Unfortunately, Ichijo and Mai's team did not receive any payment for the phantom they had defeated this morning. This was because their team had damaged the school's facilities, and the amount they received would be used to repair the giant clock. In addition, each Phantom Hunter team will be ranked based on their performance, and the tasks they have successfully completed. Unfortunately, Ichijo and Mai are currently in the F-Class category, the lowest Phantom Hunter class. Seeing the teams per performance, they began to think about recruiting new members. But finding a special gifted student from their high school isn't easy. When Ichijo was on his way home in the afternoon, he was suddenly trapped in a foreign world created by a phantom. But before he could do anything, a beautiful girl named Reina Izumi quickly absorbed all the phantom energy in seconds. Reina, who had devoured all the phantom energy, looked happy and enjoyed the phantom meal. Seeing the magical power possessed by Reina, Ichijo was immediately interested in inviting her to be a member of his phantom hunter team at school. Moreover, he recognized that Reina's uniform was the same as his school uniform, Hosea Academy. But Reina, surprised to see Ichijo's sudden invitation, decided to leave him immediately. However, Ichijo did not give up on getting Reina as a new member of his Phantom Hunter team. The next day, Ichijo approached Reina and promised to treat her to lunch in their school canteen in large quantities. After finishing more than 10 servings of food, she looked pleased and enjoyed her meal. But when Ichijo again invites her to join his Phantom Hunter team, she still seems hesitant to join. Finally, Mai again encourages Reina to join their team in the evening. Reina, who looks attracted to Mai's spirit, agrees to join their phantom hunter team. After she officially joined Ichijo and Mai's team, they decided to change the role of the phantom sealer, which was previously Ichijo's job, to Reina's job. While Ichijo will serve as the person who will summon the phantom from another world. The next day, Ichijo's team was called by Arisa Sensei to come to her office. Arisa Sensei purposely called them to assign them a special mission. They were assigned to defeat the Aliyashiki Company's robot in this mission, which has now turned into a phantom. Hearing the name Aliyashiki, Ichijo then remembered that the company was spreading a mysterious virus that had caused humans to see phantoms. Arisa Sensei then explained that at this time, there was a new student named Koidomi Nasi who had already left for the Aliyashiki Company. Mi Nasi is one of the best phantom hunter students sent by the government agency. Arisa Sensei hopes that Ichijo's team can help Minasi adapt quickly to her new school this time. Ichijo, Mai and Reina agreed to the task given by Arisa Sensei. Elsewhere, Minasi, who had arrived at the abandoned building of the Aliyashiki Company, first began to prepare to face the phantom robots. 
she let out a thunderous magical sound power towards the small phantoms. All of the tiny phantoms were annihilated instantly, but when the phantom robots started arriving in swarms, the power of Mi Nasi's magical voice suddenly disappeared. Fortunately, Ichijo, Reina, and Mai arrived at the place and immediately helped her defeat the phantom robot. Mi Nasi, who saw the combined strength and cooperation of Ichijo's team in defeating the phantom robots, praised their abilities. But Mi Nasi then turned cold again and immediately left the place. Then, Ruru, who saw a mysterious tool that looked interesting, decided to take the tool away before they left that place. On another day, Ichijo's team again received the task of phantom hunting from Arisa sensei The assignment this time came from the students who lived in their school's girls' dormitory building. They say that a UFO-shaped phantom will peek at them from outside the window every time they change clothes. Ichijo's team immediately went to the girls' dormitory room. Then after they waited for the UFO's presence for hours, the phantom UFO had not yet appeared. Finally, Reina and Mai decided to pretend to change clothes in the room to provoke the arrival of the phantom UFO they were looking for. It turned out that their prediction was correct. The phantom UFO appeared as soon as Reina and Mai took off their clothes. Ichicho panicked after hearing their screams immediately entered the room and helped them. Seeing the phantom UFO's fast movement, he decided to take out a demon that could catch the UFO phantom. The funny thing is, Ichijo, whose initial intention was to ask for the help of the dashing and tough demon Markojas, but the demon Markojas who appeared was actually a small demon in the form of a very cute and adorable winged dog. Fortunately, Markojas was still able to catch up to the phantom UFO, and Reina was able to destroy the it immediately. The next day, Team Ichijo again received a new mission. In this mission, they must face two phantoms in the form of beautiful girls who can stand guard on the bridge. The two beautiful girls will challenge anyone who will cross the bridge and only allow anyone who manages to defeat them. They recognize Mai even though she can't remember anything about them. Then they asked her to beat them alone, and she immediately agreed. Unfortunately, Mai seemed to have a hard time dealing with their attacks until she finally fell limp. Seeing this, Ichijo immediately used his demon summoning stance to distract the two phantom girls so he could take Mai away from there. The next day, Mai, who looks frustrated with her defeat yesterday, decides to train Ichijo and Reina in martial arts so that they can help her in the fight later. However, they do not have strong physical strength. Ichijo then proposed copying all the memories of Mai's martial arts movements into his brain to immediately master martial arts without the need to practice. The next day, Ichijo spends time with Mai so that he can easily copy Mai's martial moves memories. But before he could copy her memories, the two phantom bridge guard girls had managed to find them first and immediately attack them. In the fight, Ichijo's and Mai's heads accidentally bump into each other. Then Ichijo miraculously managed to enter Mai's mind and could see all the memories in her mind. He immediately took advantage of the opportunity to copy martial arts from her. At the same time, Ichijo begins to find out why the two phantom girls seem to recognize and are very interested in Mai. They had met Mai as a child, and she often teased them. So they train hard to take revenge on Mai and defeat her. After that, Ichijo, who has now succeeded in copying all of Mai's martial memories, immediately uses his power to help her defeat them. Because of the epic collaboration between Mai and Ichijo, they were finally able to defeat them. The two phantom girls then acknowledge the greatness of Mai and Ichijo. They promised that they would train even harder to challenge Mai in the future. The scene changes where Minasi is tasked with defeating a phantom in the form of a train. And by using her the power of magical voice, she can easily defeat the train phantom. After that, she immediately left the place without saying anything. Minasi is apparently still very introverted and reluctant to interact with other people. Minasi's cold and timid attitude emerged at the age of four since her special powers started to awaken. This makes her the talk of the other students. After school, when Ichijo and his friends saw Minasi, who was walking home alone, Ichijo immediately chased after her to accompany her. Actually, Minasi was not going to her house but to the rabbit cage located behind their school to carry out a phantom hunting mission. When she arrived at the rabbit cage, she met an adorable little girl named Kumamakura Kurumi, who was in charge of guarding the rabbit cage. Shortly after, a giant red phantom with three heads appeared and was about to attack her. Luckily Minasi was able to quickly protect herself with the power of her magical voice. However, she was surprised because Ichijo suddenly appeared in the middle of the fight, and she immediately tried to protect him. Unfortunately, 
when rescuing Ichijo, Minasi was exposed to the smoke from the phantom and couldn't make out the power of her magical voice. As a result, she coughed and started to feel weak. Seeing this, Kurumi decided to help Minasi by ordering her teddy bear to help Minasi fight the giant phantom. It turns out that Kurumi's teddy bear can turn into a giant teddy bear that has superpowers. The bear beat the phantom with a powerful blow that the phantom was thrown high into the air. Mai, who had arrived at the location, immediately hit the giant phantom. Feeling cornered, the giant red phantom decided to disappear and leave that place. After that, Ichijo took Minasi to the school health room for treatment. After Minasi recovered, she asked the rest of Ichijo's team not to interfere and let her fight the giant red phantom alone. But Mai disagreed with it and ended up fighting with her. Seeing the quarrel between Mai and Minasi, Arisa Sensei decided to have a competition. Whoever among them can defeat the giant red phantom first will receive a greater reward. Hearing this, Mai was even more excited to beat the phantom. However, unlike Mai, Minasi was even more annoyed by the situation and immediately left the place. Ichijo, who saw Minasi go alone, decided to join her and help her defeat the phantom. Apparently, Ichijo felt guilty toward Minasi because he had hurt her while saving him. Then Mai, who saw the potential power possessed by Kurumi, asked her to join as a reserve member of her phantom hunter team. Elsewhere, Ichijo continues to follow Minasi even though she is still cold to him and has asked him to leave. When they arrived at a park, Minasi suddenly felt phantom energy around her. She realized that the giant red phantom was about to appear, and she immediately ran to face it. Unfortunately, Minasi's magical voice power is no longer effective in defeating the phantom. When the phantom almost attacked her, Ichijo quickly sent Marcosias to help her. And again, the phantom disappeared. Nevertheless, Minasi, who is still injured, insists on looking for the phantom. After Ichijo asked Arisa Sensei, he finally found out why Minasi was so insistent on defeating the phantom. The giant red phantom was the phantom that once triggered Minasi's special power. As a result of Minasi's power being too great, she became shunned by many people, including her own parents. Since then, she has often become aloof and shut herself off. So, the giant red phantom was why Minasi's relationship with the people around her was cut off. Meanwhile, Minasi, who had managed to find the whereabouts of the giant red phantom, immediately attacked the phantom with full strength. But she again failed to defeat the phantom because it was hit by the gas released by the phantom. Fortunately, Mai and her friends arrived in time so they could save her. With the combination of the special powers of Kurumi, Mai and Ichijo, they were finally able to defeat the phantom. Meanwhile, Reina helps Minasi with her healing powers. Since then, Minasi's friendship with Ichijo's team has grown closer. After Ichijo's team recruited Minasi and Kurumi to become members in the past few days, they became stronger and invincible. Their collaboration and combination of superpowers make Team Ichijo a rank A Phantom Hunter team. In addition, Minasi is becoming more and more popular among the students at school. Some students from other classes even idolized her and wanted to take pictures with her. A few days later, Arisa Sensei announced to the Phantom Hunter Team students. She said that recently there was a mysterious phantom who had attacked three Phantom Hunter students from their school. The mysterious phantom is called the Enigma. Unfortunately, not much information can be known regarding the Phantom Enigma. However, many witnesses say that this phantom can copy and seize the special abilities of every Phantom Hunter child. That's why Arisa Sensei appealed to all the students of the Phantom Hunter team to always be careful and alert. When Ichijo and his friends came home from school, they suddenly heard a girl screaming. <coughs> Mai and the others immediately ran towards the source of the sound. As it turned out, the voice came from an upper-class woman who was battling the Phantom Enigma. The girl tried to warn Ichijo and his friends to leave the place. However, they could not leave her alone and immediately prepared to fight against the Phantom Enigma. Mai and Minasi began to issue attacks first, and then Ichijo used his phantom summoning stance to take out an octopus-shaped creature named Cthulhu. Unexpectedly, the power of Cthulhu was able to weaken the phantom Enigma's power. When Enigma runs out of energy, Ichijo immediately seals it into his sketchbook. Unfortunately, just as Mai was about to destroy it, the Enigma drawing suddenly disappeared from Ichijo's sketchbook. The following day, Ichijo suddenly gets a phone call from his long-lost mother. Ichijo's mother then asked him to meet her at a park. Because Ichijo had not seen his mother for a long time, 
he could not say a word to his mother. Ichijo's mother decided to leave the place. But Ichijo, who changed his mind, immediately called his mother and invited her back home. He started living with his mother from that day, and they lived their days happily. Mai and other friends, who realized that Ichijo had not been with them since a week ago, were annoyed and worried about him. Then they accidentally saw Ichijo, who was shopping with his mother at a supermarket. Unlike the other friends who were fascinated by the beauty of Ichijo's mother, Minasi faintly felt a strange aura from her. They then decided to ask Arisa's sensei about it before finally visiting Ichijo's house and seeing the situation. Ichijo's mother warmly welcomed Ichijo's friends, and they still didn't find anything strange. Mai suddenly received a call from Arisa's sensei in the middle of their conversation. The person who is currently with them is not Ichijo's real mother because she was reported missing a week ago. That means the person currently disguised as Ichijo's mother is Phantom Enigma. Unexpectedly, Enigma can possess humans and hide in them. Mai, who didn't realize that Phantom Enigma was behind her, was suddenly attacked by Enigma. Ichijo and the others were immediately surprised to know that Enigma possessed Ichijo's mother's body. She wanted to steal Ichijo's special ability. According to her, Ichijo's special ability is extraordinary. After that, she immediately pulled Ichijo and took his power until he fell unconscious. Enigma, who has now succeeded in taking special powers from him, decides to get out of Ichijo's mother's body and leave that place. When Ichijo's mother fell unconscious, Ruru suddenly fainted. Mai and other friends started to panic and immediately took Ruru, Ichijo, and his mother to be treated at the hospital. A few days later, Ichijo, who had recovered, went with his friends to visit his mother, who was still being treated at the hospital. Turns out, Enigma had snatched consciousness and memories from Ichijo's mother, so that she can only wake up when the Enigma has been sealed. Then elsewhere, Minasi and several officers from the Phantom Control Agency are trying to find the whereabouts of Enigma. However, the existence of Enigma is still very difficult to trace. Even the Phantom Control Agency doesn't have a database on her. Hearing that, Minasi started to remember something and immediately rushed to Ichijo's house. When Minasi arrived at Ichijo's house, she immediately asked Ruru to take out the tools she had obtained from the Aliashiki Company building. Minasi then asked Ichijo to repair the tools so that it could function again. She just found out that the tool can access the servers of the Aliashiki Company. She thought that the Aliashiki Company was hiding something from the public. Then, Kurumi asked her doll to repair the tool. It turned out that Minasi's suspicion was correct. The Aliashiki Company hid the fact that they had conducted illegal research using phantoms, as research objects. An enigma is the result of transplanting human DNA into a phantom. The Aliashiki researchers then improved the capabilities of the modified phantom in the hope that their experimental phantom could later be used as a substitute for artificial soldiers for military purposes. Unfortunately, Enigma had far greater power than they had anticipated. She then rebelled and fled from the research center. Shortly after, Minasi got a call from the Phantom Control Agency saying that Enigma had reappeared in the research area next to the Aliashiki Hospital where Ichijo's mother was being treated. Ichijo and his friends immediately went to that location with Arisa's sensei through the back road. Ichijo, who now has no special powers, can't do much. Meanwhile, Mai, Kurumi, Minasi and Reina tried their best to combine their strength to defeat Enigma. Their combined attacks could initially block Enigma's movement, but their attacks were still not strong enough to defeat her. Meanwhile, Enigma, with just one attack, could blow them all away. Arisa sensei then asked Ichijo to revive his power. She then explained that Ruru could transfer her power to him because she is basically a phantom of his power. Not long after, Ichijo had managed to regain his strength after Ruru transferred her power to him. Moreover, Ichijo's current strength is much stronger than what he previously had. When Ichijo summoned Marcosias and Cthulhu, they appeared in their true form. With the combined great power, he managed to push Enigma down. Finally, when Enigma couldn't make any movement anymore, Mai quickly used her sealing move. After Enigma is defeated, all Enigma's victims return to normal and regain their strength. Ichijo's mother, who is currently being treated at the hospital, is gradually recovering. Ichijo can finally reunite with his mother. After that, the adventures of Ichijo and his friends as a team of phantom hunters still continue. At the same time, the friendship between them has become closer and inseparable. The moral that can be learned from this anime is when Ruri gives strength to Ichijo, again reminding us that the small things we do for others may mean a lot to people who need strength to live their lives, like hugs, smiles, or just our presence.